Question number five, Monica Lennon. Thank you. To ask the Scottish Government what action it is taking to improve air quality in central Scotland. Cabinet Secretary. Cleaner Air for Scotland, Scotland's first separate air quality strategy, sets out a comprehensive range of local and national measures to improve air quality. And these measures include development of a national low emission framework, through which the 2017 programme for government has committed to introducing low emission zones in all local air quality management areas by 2023, where evidence supports such interventions. The Scottish Government also continues to provide practical and financial assistance to local authorities to support air quality monitoring and the development and implementation of action plans. Monica Lennon. I thank the Cabinet Secretary for her reply. Last month, a Sunday Herald investigation into the proliferation of super incinerators across Scotland brought concerns about pollution and public health into sharp focus. Dr Richard Dixon of Friends of the Earth Scotland has warned that whilst the Scottish Government has fine plans, and I quote, these will come to naught unless they stop this rush to incineration before it is too late, end quote. Despite cross-party and community campaigns, the Scottish Government has already allowed an appeal for one such incinerator in Hamilton, in the region that I represent. Can the Cabinet Secretary tell me how the Scottish Government policy on incineration is consistent with the Cleaner Air for Scotland strategy? Well, every, every decision uh, that uh, will be made in respect of individual applications will uh, take all matters into consideration. And I, uh, while I don't know the details of the particular one that uh, Monica Lennon is discussing here, um, I would presume that to be the case as well. Um, we have seen in Scotland significant reductions in pollution emissions over recent decades through tighter industrial regulation, which suggests it is working, improved fuel quality, cleaner vehicles, and an increased focus on sustainable transport. We have a good record, and we're meeting both domestic and European air quality targets across much of Scotland, albeit there still might be hotspots of poorer air quality in a number of urban areas.